Hey, what's up, guys? Stroke here for another review. This particular brand is iconic. It's been around since I don't know how long. Um, I've been using this product since I can remember uh, my teens. But after all these years and up until now, me finally realizing that the same particular brand that I know, that you know, that you've been supporting for so long, that the price has never changed, it's time to come to an end. You're probably wondering, Stroger, what are you talking about? As we know, the brand Arizona Tea, Arizona Beverages, you know, the tall can, it's always 99 cents, even through the pandemic, it's still been holding strong. I came to realize that I think Arizona is too much for me. Moving forward, um, this beverage has provided me so much pleasure, so much joy, cool, refreshing drinks. Um, as a, once a great legend has said before, um, it, it's just not uh, doing it for me anymore. The reason being is not because of the, uh, the vast majority of flavors, um, the endless satisfaction as, as each can I downed over the, over the years. Um, it's the main ingredient that's causing me to venture off as far as finding a different beverage. Um, again, I'm not a big uh, juice drinker, soda drinker, kind of try to stick to water. That's the majority of my intake, but at the same time, nothing wrong with a soda or uh, something sweet every now and then, but this particular product is too sweet. Yes, indeed. After reading the can, the, uh, the health facts, I uh, came to realize that Arizona tea is it's just full of sugar, not just the tea. You know, we have the uh, fruit punch, watermelon, lemonade, the uh, cucumber, and so forth. It's just too much sugar, man. I mean, I had to look it up and make sure I wasn't tripping. Based off the cans I pick up every now and then, I'll check the effects and come to realize that none of them actually provide a less sugary drink. Um, for example, the Arizona green tea, uh, ginseng, ginseng and honey, um, 17 grams of sugar. I tried it before I didn't like it. Um, I tried many of them, but I know they're coming out with new flavors and some stores don't, does, will never stock every single flavor. I get that, but the actual Arizona green tea has 34 grams of sugar. Now, some people are probably like, what the heck is going on? But to be honest with you, that's the average amount of sugar in each can. I even tried the cucumber one. I'm like, okay, cucumber, that should be the best one. Because it's cucumbers, right? Cucumbers, water, nothing else to it. Nah. Cucumber has one of the highest uh, amount of sugar in there. So, um, this is definitely disappointing. Um, of course, so many people have been enjoying these drinks. But as time went on and I actually uh, consumed more water than anything, my body uh, continued to flush out all the toxins and all the extra stuff that is not needed um, to carry on my day to be... Uh, the most efficient person I possibly could be. And of course, I'm going to the gym uh, more than ever. Um, I'm very picky on what I eat. It's not so much junk food. It's very little junk food, uh, little fast food, mostly uh, home-cooked meals. So my body, uh, it, it reacts to it differently. Um, sad to say, will I ever um, stop drinking Arizona? It's a high chance that I will moving forward. Um, it has gotten to the point now to whenever I do buy a, a can, I don't even finish the whole can. Now, granted, it's a large can, but I normally down those, no problem. But uh, moving forward, as uh, as I continue to buy these cans, I hardly buy them. I used to buy them uh, at one point, I used to buy them every day, months on end, um, you know, on the way to work or after work. Now it's like when I do buy one, I don't even finish the whole can. I just, you know, drink half of it and I throw the rest away, which is very wasteful. I know in America, that's pretty typical. But I refuse to put that stuff in my body again, knowing that it's not going to really benefit me. Um, now, some things Arizona can do to improve their product is ease up on the sugar. Uh, ease up on the sugar. And I do uh, realize that they do have a sugar-free. I'm not too sure about that. I kind of scoured the internet a bit. But as far as me going to store, I haven't seen a sugar-free um, version yet. But if they do, I definitely would try it. Um, Arizona's not a terrible company, but it's always room to make improvements. Me personally, it shouldn't even be a uh, uh, half sugar or anything like that. If you can make it sugar-free, make it sugar-free. 
the regular uh, beverages you have this scale back on the actual sugar. Me personally, um, I hate a ton of sugar. And in America, everything has sugar in it, whether it's uh, ketchup, uh, mustard, water, <laughs> everything just has sugar in it. There's always a lot of it. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of like a brownie guy, um, but at the end of the day, I don't want majority of the actual ingredients to be sugar. If you can make a brownie and put just enough sugar in there just to pass for a nice delicious treat, then I'm all for it. So if anyone comes across this video that works for Arizona, please think about reducing the sugar in your regular cans. Um, again, I am aware that you guys supposedly have sugar-free versions, but outside of the sugar-free version, the regular cans that you have, just reduce the sugar. I really believe you can get away with half um, cause it's, I'm not buying these beverages to get a sugar rush. I'm getting, I'm buying these beverages to get a nice, um, uh, uh, refresh drink, you know, something that's light, easy on my stomach, on my mind. Cause of course you got too much sugar, you know, your body's still acting all wonky. Just need something to get through the day. Nice, a nice little fresh, cool, um, drink. I don't want anything that's, that's, uh, that's contaminated full of sugar. And I do know a lot of companies are making artificial sugar. They use artificial sugar. Sweeteners do not use artificial sweet sweeteners. Use the legit stuff. Just ease up on the sugar. And on top of that, you'll save a lot of money knowing that you don't have to put pounds and pounds of sugar in each batch. And just keep that in mind for the average consumer. Uh, as you guys know, sugar is uh, it's a great thing, but it's also dangerous if you consume too much of it. Me, I'm the kind of guy, just give me a little bit of it. Just a little bit, just to say, okay, that's good. So moving forward, Arizona, um, I'm going to be very weary, cautious of me continuing buying these cans. Uh, I will look out for a sugar-free version, maybe give that a shot. But moving forward, um, whenever I do buy Arizona, I might just end up buying a jug, and then I'll just dilute it with some uh, nice pH balanced water, 9.5, the minimum. And that's the best I can do. But I do want to continue to support the company. But as far as getting the regular cans, it's just too much sugar in it. 32 grams, that's the average amount. I think I've seen one for like 36. I think that's a fruit puncher. I'm not too sure. But um, you don't need to toss a lot of sugar in there. If you're using legitimate products, ingredients, you know, real fruit. doesn't take much. Put a little fruit in there. Most fruit has sugar already in it, natural sugar. I understand some may need a boost. But you don't need to just load it up full of sugar. So if anybody's been drinking Arizona, if you agree with me, leave a uh, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you have an alternative like Arizona, leave the uh, information down below. Uh, moving forward, guys, you know, for us to, to to be better, we have to do better. So again, this is not a shot at Arizona. I just want the company to continue thriving, but also make vast improvements that will continue their legacy. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend, until next time, stronger.